I'm sorry about that. Did I, did I drop everybody all of a sudden? Okay, as long as everybody's back. Looks like we're all back on. Okay, I hope that the recording is still on. I guess it is. So the key with that I say, once we've established them in a Torah, in such a case, one witness is believed. So how can we say that if one witness comes along and says, Nitmus, I saw her commit adultery, I saw her be defiled, and the other witness comes in and contradicts him, once we say that the first witness is accepted by the Torah, like two, how can the second witness then come along and contradict him? Once the Torah has accepted the testimony of this one witness, like two, one witness can contradict him. Didn't Ula say, wherever the Torah accepts the testimony of a single witness, it's considered like two witnesses. And once it's considered like two witnesses, a single witness cannot contradict two witnesses. So therefore, Ula says, you have to edit the Mishnah. Instead of Mishnah saying that if one says he, that, that she did commit adultery, the other one says it's not true. She drinks the waters of Satan because they cancel each other out. Edit the Mishnah. So she doesn't drink the waters of Satan. Because once the first witness comes along and says she was, she was defiled, that establishes is established as if though it was two. And therefore, she cannot drink anymore. And even if one witness comes along and tries to contradict the, 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 witnesses that came, the witness that came before, we wouldn't accept his testimony. And therefore, she doesn't drink. Does that right mean that the second... So the oh. said, sorry? Does that mean that the first Eid Echad is believed equals to two, but the second one, Eid, is considered only one? Right, because the second one is not saying nitmis. The whole din that we only believe in Eid Echad is only if he comes and says that he saw her commit adultery. Mm -hmm. But when the second witness comes along and says that she's innocent, there's no, there's no pasuk in the Torah that says that we accept his testimony of innocence as, when he's an Eid Echad. Okay, yeah. I mean, based on the Svarah that we spoke about before, Raglaim Ludavar, the Raglaim Ludavar is, is the Raglaim Ludavar of her guilt, not Raglaim Ludavar of her innocence. And the Yitzchak also agrees with Ula that the correct text in our Mishnah should read Loi Chia Amar disagrees, and he says that she does drink. We do consider the second witness powerful enough to contradict the first witness. Rebchia, who says that that she does drink because the witnesses cancel each other out. What does he do with Ula's kasha? With, with the kasha from Ula. Ula said, and Ula has a is 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 quite reliable. He said that if the, if the Torah believes in Eid Echad. Then, um, then it's considered like two, and nobody can contradict him. And for the Gemara, like Kasha, there's no contradiction here. It's a basic difference. If the, if the two witnesses walked into Besdin together, one came to say that she was that she's guilty, and one came to say that she's innocent. So since from the very onset there's one in this direction, one in that direction, so they cancel each other out, and she drinks. But if they came if they came first, came one witness and said that she's guilty. So Bezdin accepted that testimony like two witnesses and established her guilt and now doesn't let her drink the waters of Satan. So when another witness comes at a later date or a later time and says, hey, one minute, I know for a fact that the first witness was lying and that she's, that she's innocent, we say, I'm sorry. We've already accepted the principle that she's guilty. And in order to undo an ex a principle that's already been accepted in Besdin, we need two witnesses. Tanan, we learned in a Mishnah. We learned in our Mishnah, if one witness says that she was defiled, two witnesses say it's not true, she was not defiled, she drinks. Okay, so the two are more powerful than the one. So that would imply, but what if it's one against one? Against one? Two against one, we said the two are more powerful than the one. But what if it's one against one? Seems to imply that she doesn't drink. That slugs up Rebchia. That's a refutation to Rebchia. Rebchia just said that one against one is also good enough reason for her not to drink because each one cancels out the other.
Says, so that's a contradiction to the Pchia. Says the Gemara, Aralach of Pchia, the Pchia will answer you. Well, the time may, according to the way you want to understand it, Ema Sefer, let's look further in the Mishnah. We'll see an implication and further in the Mishnah, just the opposite. It says further in the Mishnah, Shnayim Emnim Nitmis, Echad Emer Lein Nitmis, if two witnesses say she is defiled, and therefore she cannot drink. And one says it's not true, she was not defiled, and therefore she should drink. So she doesn't drink the two win against the one. Which seems to imply that if it's one against one, she does drink. Right? So we have an implication from one part of the Mishnah that by one and one she doesn't drink. An implication from another part of the Mishnah that by one and one she does drink. So we have to say that the entire Mishnah is talking about disqualified, uh, disqualified witnesses. Not witnesses that are kosher witnesses, because by a kosher witness, the din is that two, that, what, that by a kosher witness, the din would be that one is like two. And therefore, you cannot be contradicted. But here, we're talking about that from the beginning, we're talking about everybody here involved over here is, is, a, is a disqualified witness, is a possible aid. And it all follows according to the sheet of Rabbi Nechemi. Tanya, we learned in the Brayse, Rabbi Nechemi, Amen, Rabbi Nechemi says, Kol makim shamina teire echad, wherever the teire accepts the testimony of a single witness, alach achar reiv deis, follow the majority. Asu shtei noshim b'ish echad, kishnei anoshim b'ish echad, so two women who are giving testimony, contradicting that which was said by one man, is kishnei anoshim b'ish echad would be the same as two men contradicting one man. Ikad Amri and others say differently. They say, if originally one kosher witness came along in the beginning and established the fact, and even a thousand women who would, who would argue his conclusion, even a hundred women who would, who would argue his conclusion, Kaid Echad would be treated like one witness, and it would not be able to uproot the, the testimony that Bezdin accepted from the one Kashana witness who came. Ah, you know what we're talking about over here, again, that's why Isha Meikara, that the original witness was not a Kashana witness, the original witness was a woman. And since the original witness was a woman, the tears of Rabbi Nechemi, you should interpret Rabbi Nechemi's words or edit Rabbi Nechemi's words in the following way. Says, in any case where the Torah accepted the testimony of a single witness, days go according to the majority. So two women against one woman, two men contradicting one man. But if there's two women against one man, it would be considered like half and half. And I guess that would remain a uh, a suffix. So if that's the case, that that what it says, that aid says like this, and two aid say like this, it's also talking about pasula edus. And why do we have two cases in the mission of pasula edus? One case in the mission says aid emer nitmus, aid emer lein nitmus. Another case in the mission says ishe meres nitmus, ishe meres lein nitmus. If the the eight demer nitnis eight demer lein nitnis is also talking about pasul edus, so why does the mission need to repeat the halacha of pasul edus twice? And for the gemara, ma'u the teima ki as lina basar ev deis lechumre aval lekul leyas lina kamash malan. You might have thought that we follow the majority of opinions um, to be, um, we would, but we'd only say that where we're being stringent. But we're being lenient. We don't say that. So therefore, the Mishnah repeats itself twice to clarify that both in the case we were being stringent, both in the case we were being lenient, we still follow the same principle that as lina basareiv deis, we go according to the majority of opinions, and whatever the majority of opinions say, that's what we accept. Okay, this concludes this year. Uh, if somebody feels that you want to have chazara on. Um, yesterday's um, Gemara, especially the Tum of Atara bit, tell me and we'll see what we can make some time for it. For the meantime, we will hold it over here. Have a very good day. Shkeah, thank you. And uh, Mir Sashem tomorrow, three o'clock. The next yeah. week, we'll start the new period. Okay.
Is it too high for them? Hello. We're still recording. I have to. Uh... You have a new gadget today? I'm using the humblest thing, but I don't know how to get out of this. Have any suggestions for me on how we get out of this? Stop the video. Do you have an option for participants? Not that I see here. Is there like three dots? <laughs> 